in the Bible, God talks about these holy places. Mm. They are places of refuge right. where your enemy right. cannot touch you. Let me say it again. They are holy places where your enemy yeah. cannot touch you. These physical places don't exist anymore. But this spiritual place yes. is a place Amen. in time. It's called the month of Elul, and we're in it right now. One of the things we teach all the time, we talk about here in our church, New Beginnings in Dallas, is that, that you know, everybody ought to go to Israel. Trust yeah. me, you need to go yeah. to Israel. There is no, I, I tell people this all the time, Tiz, there's no country in the world like Israel, right. and there's no city in any country like Jerusalem. Right. And, yep. you know, I've gone this, the last time we went was my 30th trip, yep. and we went to places we'd never yes. been before. The anointing of God was so Ooh. great. But more than holy places, yeah. God's Bible talks to us about, man, I feel the Holy Ghost mm. just saying it, holy places in yeah. time. Is there not an appointed time? Mm. And, and as Gentiles, so many times yeah. they don't understand this, right. that, that as well as there are holy places, yeah. even more than that, babe, yeah. there are holy places in time. Mm. Passover is a holy right, place in right. time. Uh, Shavuot, Pentecost yes. is a holy place in time. Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles, is yes. a holy place in time. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the holiest yeah. of holy times. But what leads up to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, mm. which is when God determines the blessing yeah. for our lives for a whole year, yes. is the month of Elul, Golly. the time of blowing mm. the shofar. Now listen to me, most of you would say, oh, I've never heard of the month of Elul, right. or I've never heard of the blowing of the shofar. Yeah. In the Bible, they take the word shofar and they say trumpet. Right. But we all we all know of this, but we don't necessarily understand uh -huh. it. God, the, there's the song, blow the trumpet, blow the shofar in Zion, right. Zion. Right. Sound the alarm. What God is talking about, yeah. what that song is talking about, is the month of Elul yeah. of blowing the shofar mm. every day. Listen to this. Numbers 10, verse 9 and 10. When you go to war against the enemy... Now, the enemy may divorce, poverty, sickness, right. debt, disease, uh, whatever. When you go to war against the enemy who oppresses you, then you shall sound the alarm with the trumpet, with the shofar, wow. and you will yes. be remembered yes. before the Lord your God, wow. and you will be saved from your enemies. Now, yes. think about this. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This is my this is my personal shofar. Yeah. During the time of the first of Elul, all the way to the time of Yom Kippur, I you can I blow the shofar yeah. in my house over my neighborhood. Yes. Now, without getting into all the teachings, the Bible says that when the devil hears, mm. you blow the shofar. Right. But it's the voice of the shofar yeah. that we talked about the last couple of weeks. Yeah. It's not just the ritual. It's understanding yes. what God says about blowing the shofar, yeah. of waking up, of sounding the alarm. Amen. When you blow the shofar, the enemy will flee. And God says when you understand it, and that's yeah. why you're here today, so Tiz and I can teach you, when you blow the shofar... The enemy knows you understand yeah. that God is coming off the judgment seat Ooh, and he's good. moving in your behalf yes. to the mercy seat yes. and the enemy has to flee. Mm. Now, what we talked about were cities of refuge. Yeah. In the time of, of the Bible, God said, if you, if you have committed, we'll talk about this at break, if you've committed a certain crime, mm -hmm and your enemies are coming after you, right. there are 
cities of refuge, places that are holy yeah. of refuge yeah. where your enemy cannot touch you. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. In Exodus 21, 13, God is talking about this and he says, I give you a place to flee. Hmm. In Hebrew, it's anale yod ve shamte lacha. Mm. In Hebrew, a place to flee. Wow. The first letters of the Hebrew writing of a place to flee is Elul, <laughs> E-L-U-L. -L. Wow. So God is wow. revealing to you, man, isn't it, isn't it exciting to oh, learn new things? So incredible. God is saying, I'm giving you a place to flee, yeah. but here we are reading that 2,500 years later, no 3,400 years later, yeah. and God is saying these places Ooh. don't exist, but the place Amen. in time exists, yeah. the time of El Ul, yeah, yeah. the time in which when you blow the shofar and you wake up mm. during the time of El Ul. Why wake up now? Wow. Because God is getting ready on Rosh Hashanah and Yom mm. Kippur we'll talk about next yes. month. He's going to open the book of blessing. So he's yeah. waking us up. Yes. And I think, Larry, we need to just go slow for a minute and talk <laughs> about. You always tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but El Ul. The month of Elul yeah. is so important in our lives to prepare us for that. For the blessing. Yes, yeah. yes. So talk about that okay, a little and more. Okay, so, you know, when we say, we got, I've got three minutes. When we say blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm. It's a wake-up call. Yeah. I, I shared last right. week, I think it was, that today the Grand Sugars are staying with us. I went in the room just so I could talk about it, and they're set, they're asleep. Yeah. They're alive. They're, 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 their future is ahead of yeah. them, but they're asleep. So I went in and blew the, blow the, blew the trumpet. You know, on the 4th of July, which only a couple of days ago, you're seeing this time different. We had all the families, all the kids, all the grandkids out at our house. We're all swimming. We've been out there for hours and hours and hours. And we went in to watch the game and I fell asleep in my chair <laughs> and Aviva wanted me to come out and play with her. So she walks up behind me with my shofar and goes, <laughs> and blew the shofar to wake me up. That's what El Ul yes. is all about. Yes. Now listen to this. The moment you were conceived, mm. God yes. prepared a destiny for you. Mm. No matter what job you're doing, no matter what life yeah. you're living, he's given you a divine mission yes. to tikkun olam, yep. to repair a broken world. But so many times we get so busy in taking care of our lives, yeah. we forget our divine service. Yeah. Listen to this. In Hebrew, it's called heshbon hefesh, the accounting of mm. our souls. Wow. That during yeah. Elul, yeah. God wakes us up. Amen. Our ability is there. Our destiny is there, but yeah. we got to wake up right. to be a part of that, to yes. partner with God in that. Right. And so during the month of Elul, Maybe we haven't been tikkun olam. Maybe we haven't been being a blessing. Maybe we haven't been repairing a broken world. Right. Maybe we haven't been feeding the kids. And, you know, we're, we're doing from this ministry because of you, we're doing over 30,000 meals to children a month. Yes. 30,000. Yes. That's tikkun olam. Amen. We're, we're standing with Israel. Yeah. We're, we're doing projects with the hospital and with Ahava, the, yeah. the, the school in Israel. We're, we're, we're doing the Aliyah projects. Yeah. We're, we're helping Jews to be able right. to move to Israel and get right, away from, right. from anti-Semitism. This Amen. is our job. Yeah. But so many times we're so busy yep. that we forget. Yeah. And so there comes a time called yeah. the rapture. And when the rapture takes place, we'll stand before God and God will reward us mm. according to what we did or we didn't do, yeah. right? Yep, this is a divine rehearsal. Yeah. So for 30 days, God's not a hard taskmaster. No. God's a wonderful yes. God. And yes. so for 30 days, he blows the shofar. And we're to hear it and we'll go, you know what? I need to wake up. I need to yes. get some good deeds done. Yes, yes. And that's why we know it's such an exciting thing that what God is calling us to do Amen. is probably one of the greatest things mm. in repairing a broken world, in partnering with yeah. the Israeli government, in bringing hundreds and hundreds of Jewish men and women yes. back to the land of Israel. You talk 
about God waking us up. And you talk about the blessing of God. Listen to me. The blessing of God is on us right now. When we do this, when we do this, Mm. we go into a city of refuge. When we are a blessing, we move into a city of refuge where the enemy cannot touch us. The history of Israel is a 4,000 year love story between God and the Jewish people. Even more than the Jewish people love God, God loves them. One of the Lord's greatest prophetic teachings in the Bible concerns the rebirth of Israel as a nation. In Isaiah 11, the prophet declares, He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. In 1917, the Balfour Declaration began a series of international rulings to reestablish Israel as a permanent homeland for the Jewish people. Against all odds, and despite ongoing resistance from its enemies, one of the great miracles in all of history came to pass. Biblical prophecy came true. God's people prevailed, and Israel was miraculously reborn in 1948 even being officially recognized by the United Nations. David Ben-Gurion, the first prime minister of the state of Israel once said, a Jew who does not believe in miracles is not a realist because miracles are the only possible explanation for the existence of the Jewish people. Although the Jewish people have been returning to their homeland for the last 100 years, there's a new urgency to make Aliyah to Israel Many nations now support anti-Semitism. To them, one Jewish state is one too many. Persecution and harassment is on the rise. In London, Brussels, Berlin, and Copenhagen, violence against Jews is a daily threat. Perhaps in no other time since World War II has the hate been more intense. Larry Hug Ministries continues to partner with the government of Israel to provide funding to help these families escape the real danger that exists in their countries. Your gifts have already helped hundreds of men, women, and children make Aliyah to Israel. However, there is much more to be done. Thousands more are awaiting to return to their ancient homeland. There's an ancient Jewish teaching that says, if you save one life, God sees it as if you saved the whole world. We urge you to join with us today and be a miracle for the Jewish people. Together, we will make an eternal difference by saving lives, blessing Israel, and fulfilling biblical prophecy. Right now, we're entering into the very special season of the fall feasts and the first fruits offering. These appointed times from scripture are powerful opportunities to receive an outpouring of God's love and blessing. Your offering this month will not only open the windows of heaven over your life, it will also bless Israel in a very important way through Project Aliyah. Together, we are saving Jewish lives from the persecution associated with anti-Semitism by providing the airfare, immigration costs, and initial living expenses as they Aliyah or return to their ancient homeland, Israel. With your gift of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you this USB thumb drive containing 11 messages on the fall feasts taught by Pastor Larry. These teachings will equip you with an in-depth understanding of the biblical holy days and the power of the first fruits offering. With your offering of $100 or more, we will include this genuine ram's horn shofar from Israel. This biblical instrument is a valuable weapon of your warfare and is what God says to use to sound the alarm and release blessings over your family and finances. With your first fruits offering of $375 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we'll upgrade your shofar to this beautiful one new man ram's horn. This trumpet of the Lord is crafted in Israel, accented in silver, and features the Star of David and Cross. It shows your support for Judeo-Christianity and boldly proclaims your belief in the Jewish roots of our faith. You'll also receive this stunning double shofar candle holder and the fall feasts USB. 
Your generous offering today of at least $750 will fund the average cost to bring one person home to Israel. To say thank you, we'll upgrade your shofar to this magnificent Lion of Judah Yemenite shofar. It's a high quality 30 inch horn fashioned in Israel from an African kudu. It's embellished in silver with this stunning lion head design representing the Messiah and comes bundled with the Fall Feast's USB and double shofar candle holders. And now, a special offer for first time donors to our ministry. You know, in my opinion, one of the greatest teachings God ever gave me is to teach you the understanding of the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. What did a Jewish yes. Jesus mean when he said, Our Father? What did yes. he mean when he said, Hallowed, holy is your name? Mm. This prayer will change your life. It changed ours. Yeah. And that's why we want to give this to you as a gift for every yeah. first time partner. We want to say thank you and we want to be a blessing back into yes. your life through the name of Jesus. There's no question that supporting Project Aliyah is one of the greatest charitable projects you could ever take part in. So please call us today at 800-978-8546 and sow your very best fall first fruits offering. You are saving Jewish lives, fulfilling biblical prophecy, and positioning yourself to receive an outpouring of God's blessing. Our helpful operators are standing by right now to help you. So please call us now at 800-978-8546. You can also donate online by going to our secure website at LarryHuck.tv or you can mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. We want to thank you for whatever size First Fruits offering you're able to sow. With your help, so much is being accomplished. We are tearing down walls of division between Christians and Jews, preparing the world for the coming of the Lord, and being a blessing to Jewish people needing help to come home to Israel. God bless you. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. Listen, we're, we're going, we're, we're heading in. Elul is the 30 days heading into Rosh Hashanah. Right. On Rosh Hashanah, remember, these are a shadow of things to come. When the rapture takes place, God will open up the book and say, is their name written? Mm -hmm. Now, we're, we're in the book of life yep. by grace. Right. Okay, not by works, by the grace of God. Yes. But we will be rewarded yeah. according to what we did and yes. didn't do, right? Yes. We're in heaven by grace, yep. but we'll be rewarded yep. by what we did and didn't do. Absolutely. If, 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 if we do what God tells us yeah. to do, then when we go to heaven, we'll be rewarded. Yes. This is a shadow mm. of that to come. If you see my hand with the television lights, you can see my shadow. That's not the shadow of a different hand. Yeah. That's the shadow of the same hand. We're going to talk yeah. about that next month yeah. on Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. God is a good God. God is not a hard taskmaster. Yeah. He's not a mean God. He's not a bad God. Mm. It is our Father's good, good pleasure. pleasure to give us the yes. kingdom. And so to wake us up, you know, when you when you sound the alarm, it, when you have an alarm go off in the morning, yeah. that alarm is to wake you up mm -hmm. because you're going to work. You go to work to get paid. You get right. paid so you can eat and have a house yeah. or you're getting up to go do something. Mm. You're not getting up to be miserable. Right. You're getting up to be blessed. Yeah. During the month of Elul, God says, blow the trumpet in Zion. Yeah. When we blow the trumpet, knowing that it is supernatural, mm. when I blow the trumpet, yes. the devil flees from my home, Amen. from my marriage, from my children, yep, from my finances. Right. It is a supernatural yeah. thing. Just Amen. like lifting up your hands is supernatural. Yeah. Anointing some with someone with oil yeah. is supernatural. But because God wants to bless us, yes, he, he can only bless us according to what we've done. Right. Now, don't send me letters. We are saved by grace, not by Absolutely. works, lest any man should boast. But now that we're saved by grace, I'll show you my faith by yeah. my works. Yeah. I'll show you my faith by blessing Israel, by standing with yeah. Israel, by saying we don't divide the land of Israel. We don't right, divide right. the land of Jerusalem. I'll show you my faith yeah. by my works. Amen. And so, Come Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, God's getting ready to bless us. Yeah. But he can only bless us 
for the next year right. for what we did this year. Yeah. El Ul is the last month of the year. Yeah. So he blows the shofar saying maybe you haven't been doing much. Get something <laughs> good done yes. so I can bless. God, I always say, God can turn our wrongs into rights, right. but he can't turn our nothing into something. Right. God cannot bless he only blesses what we put our hands to. Yeah. And so he blows the shofar tis for 30 days, 40 mm. days counting rushes out of Yom Kippur yeah. so that he wakes us up mm. and we can get our good deeds done. Yes. Listen to this. Mamamadi says concerning this, awake you sleepers from your sleep. Mm. Rouse yourselves wow. out of your slumber. Examine your deeds mm -hmm. and turn to God in repentance Remembering your creator, wow. you who are caught up in your daily routine, yes. losing sight of the eternal truth, mm -hmm. you are wasting your years in vain pursuits that profit nothing. Oh, wow. In other words, he's wow. saying you get so caught up you forget yep. what, your, what your mission right. is, what your divine exactly. service is. Yeah what our duty is, mm -hmm. we're, 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 we don't love God just to love God. We yeah. love God to tikkun olam, exactly. to, to make a difference, to change the yes, world. Yes. And when we do that, God brings us into this city, this place mm -hmm. of refuge. Right, you know, right. I, I've only got three minutes. I, the teaching of the place of refuge or city of refuge is if someone accidentally murdered someone okay. or killed someone, right their family would come against them. So because it was an accident, they inadvertently did this crime. Mm. They inadvertently caused death. God said, you go into this place. Yeah. It's a holy place. Wow. The enemy can't touch you. Wow. Listen to this. When we disobey God in our divine service mm -hmm. of tikkun olam, mm -hmm. we have inadvertently murdered or violated the essence of our own life. Oh, wow. When we wow. haven't been doing kindness, Ooh. when we haven't My been goodness. repairing a broken world, yes. we have inadvertently, mm. in, we accidentally, but yeah. inadvertently, we've murdered the wow. essence of our own life. Wow. Why are we here? Yeah, We are here to love God. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep, what you're going to wear, wow. but seek ye first the kingdom of mm. God. We're here to love God and his righteous, the word righteous in Hebrew means wow. acts of kindness. Yes. When we forget to love God mm. and we forget to love God's people yep. and yep. make the world a better place, we're murdering our Ooh. own essence. So it, Teshuvah, wow. the month of Elul wow. is a time mm. of return. It's a time yes, of repentance. It it's a time yeah. for us to return to God. Yep. But listen, God God gave me this special for this Elul. Right. This is a time that we're to return to loving God's people. Mm. We're to return to loving the land of Israel. We need to repent during the time. We repent yeah. for not feeding the hungry. We pr pr repent for not tikkun olam, making the world a better yeah. place. But this is what God told me. We need to repent for teaching replacement theology. Yeah, wow. We need to repent for saying the Jews killed Jesus. Yeah. We need to repent for saying you need to give up land for peace. Mm. We need to repent for coming against Israel. Yeah. And we do that by standing with Israel. Yes. You yes. know, we we're talking about at the break, by you helping Jews to Aliyah yeah. to Israel. Israel, anti-Semitism is alive in the world yeah, today, sad to say. Yep. But Jews coming to Aliyah, yeah. Israel is yes. their place yep. of refuge. Yeah. Israel is their yes. holy place right. of refuge. And when we do it, you go in to a holy place yep. of refuge. That's right. By you doing this, yep. by you hearing the shofar and yes. understanding, God's waking me up so I, I can be a blessing yeah. so I can be blessed. Amen. You're moving your family, your children yes. into a place of refuge. Right. Let me tell you one more story. We talked to a young man that was facing anti-Semitism. He, he was going to get married. We talked to him in Israel that we helped right. move, move to Israel. Yeah. And he couldn't marry this girl because he was a Jew. Very, very smart young man. Very right. educated young man. And he said, when, when you guys helped me to move to Israel, he said, I wasn't religious. But when I moved to Israel, it woke me up. Right. And now I'm fully observant. That's right. And yep. when I heard that, I realized when mm. we help yeah. Jewish people 
to come to their city of refuge. Yeah. God is waking you up. He's going to wake your children up. Yep. He's going to wake That's your right. family up. He's going to wake That's your business right. up. Yep. Because this is. Amen. That Israel is a holy place. Yeah. And Elul is a holy place in time. It's yes. powerful what God is going to do for you Amen. and through you. I'm already out of time. I'm Larry. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Right now, we're entering into the very special season of the fall feasts and the first fruits offering. These appointed times from scripture are powerful opportunities to receive an outpouring of God's love and blessing. Your offering this month will not only open the windows of heaven over your life, it will also bless Israel in a very important way through Project Aliyah. Together, we are saving Jewish lives from the persecution associated with anti-Semitism by providing the airfare, immigration costs, and initial living expenses as they Aliyah or return to their ancient homeland, Israel. With your gift of any size today, we want to say thank you by sending you this USB thumb drive containing 11 messages on the fall feasts taught by Pastor Larry. These teachings will equip you with an in-depth understanding of the biblical holy days and the power of the first fruits offering. With your offering of $100 or more, we will include this genuine ram's horn shofar from Israel. This biblical instrument is a valuable weapon of your warfare and is what God says to use to sound the alarm and release blessings over your family and finances. With your first fruits offering of $375 or more in support of Project Aliyah, we'll upgrade your shofar to this beautiful one new man ram's horn. This trumpet of the Lord is crafted in Israel, accented in silver, and features the Star of David and Cross. It shows your support for Judeo-Christianity and boldly proclaims your belief in the Jewish roots of our faith. You'll also receive this stunning double shofar candle holder and the fall all Feasts USB. Your generous offering today of at least $750 will fund the average cost to bring one person home to Israel. To say thank you, we'll upgrade your shofar to this magnificent Lion of Judah Yemenite shofar. It's a high quality 30 inch horn fashioned in Israel from an African kudu. It's embellished in silver with this stunning lion head design representing the Messiah and comes bundled with the Fall Feasts USB and double shofar candle holders and now a special offer for first-time donors to our ministry you know in my opinion one of the greatest teachings God ever gave me is to teach you the understanding of the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew what did a Jewish Jesus mean when he said our father what did he mean when he said hallowed holy is your name this prayer will change your life it changed ours and that's why we want to give this to you as a gift for every first time partner. We want to say thank you and we want to be a blessing back into your life through the name of Jesus. Please call us today at 800-978-8546 and sow your very best fall first fruits offering. You are saving Jewish lives. You can also donate online by going to our secure website at larryhuck.tv or you can mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. God bless you.